Hello and welcome back to Basingstoke, where we are on our way to the safe room with this catchy soundtrack in the background. Water bottle, thank you. Alright, we're back, and we've got a couple of things to cover before we hop right into it. Um, first of all, probably the most obvious, or maybe not so obvious, I don't know. Uh, Arthur's looking a little bit different today. Yep, he's got a slightly different shade of hair, you know. What little he has. And uh, the reason for that is because um, there's, a, there's a thing that happens in this game every once in a while. I don't know, I'd say like maybe every five or six episodes. Maybe even less than that. Uh, when I go, you know, start up a new game session and continue, instead of dropping me where I left off, it tells me I need to select a new character and level to start from. And uh, it's not really a big deal. As you can see, I still have all of my inventory, right? So I'm not really sure why it does this. I think it's a bug, but then again, I'm not sure how it's actually supposed to, to work. Um, but yeah, it, the end result is basically nothing changes except the look of our character. Now, I did um, spend probably an inordinate amount of time going through the character creator until I got another Arthur, because, you know, I'm, I'm partial to Arthur. I want to make sure that an Arthur of some sort makes it through to the end. <laughs> so, so that's that. Um, now, usually it's not an issue because I tend to take a lot of backups just in case, you know, things like this happen where I need to, uh, do we have, no, we don't have anything too interesting here. Uh, you know, just in case. Um, unfortunately, the last backup I have here is, um, uh, from, like, before the sewers. And, uh, I'm not super excited to go back to the sewers, if I'm being honest. Just, just not really excited at all. <laughs> so, and as far as I can tell, there's no ooh, safe room code. Well, that was fast. There's no downside to starting with a new character. There's really, it doesn't change anything. Like I said, you still have all of your inventory, and you start from the same place. So I'm not really sure what to make of it. But there you have it. Now, the other thing that I wanted to cover really quickly is a uh, new update. It's a free content update. It's actually part of the 97-98 builds. I think I mentioned this in the last episode, but they added a few new things. Uh, metal pipe. It's always good. They added a horde mode, which I haven't tried, but it's a pet, uh, essentially, you know, what you'd expect from a horde mode. You just, you have a character with uh, a loadout, and you try to survive as long as possible. And they have leaderboards and all the appropriate accoutrement. Uh, what else? There's uh, new environments. Uh, the church. Uh, and I, I think the church is, is actually a new thing. I don't know if we're going to see it in this playthrough, but uh, the church and catacombs and cemetery, I don't know if that's all part of one level, but uh, the other thing they added was a... Oh, hey. Man, these military guys usually have something good on them. The other thing they added was a new, new class, a vicar. Now, I haven't actually unlocked any classes because I'm just, you know, not very good at this game, I guess. <laughs> but... Uh, so we really only have the office worker, but the vicar is something that you can unlock. I don't know how you unlock it. It seems like it has something to do with reaching the church. Uh, and there are a couple of new items related to, uh, you know, the, uh, the church. Like a holy water pistol or some other, some, some such nonsense. So we'll see what we can, we can, uh, check out here. Maybe we'll get some of that in this playthrough. We picked up some night vision goggles, which is really cool. It uses batteries, though, and I don't have any. I had batteries. In days of yore, I remember having batteries, but I guess I don't anymore. So, night vision. Fire to activate. It's fully charged. It seems like it would be really useful. Can I go back to my... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This seems really good. Except, look at how fast it drains. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, so maybe maybe we'll, we'll hold on to that until we actually need it. Uh-oh. What's, what's out here? Uh, lots of explosions. Oh boy. What is going on here? I don't know what's happening. Okay. Let's just grab anything we can here and try not to get exploded. Okay, so, is that following me, or what? I don't know, but this is very dangerous. Uh, that is... Oh, that's a giblet. 
Okay. Oh yeah, there's a whoa. <laughs> okay, we really need to get out of here. Oh, we picked up a pistol. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's more stuff for me to pick up. Okay, this is going to be dangerous. It could be potentially quite lucrative. We have an actual pistol, not like a homemade pistol. I wonder if these are more accurate. Where was the... Yes, this. Landmine. Not what I need. Okay, let's keep going. SMG, holy crap. There's so much good stuff here. Uh, well, that's not what I want to see. Uh, holy cow. This is extremely dangerous and hazardous to my health. Alright, let's 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 go this way. What was that? There's a flash on the ground there. Is there going to be... Are they going to bomb that area next? No? I don't know. Okay, alright. Well, that's, that's fun. They're definitely going with the nuclear option now. That's the only way to be sure, you know, so I understand that. Holy cow, please, please, game. There's a lot of flashing bits all over the place. Oh, no. <laughs> no. What is going on? See, the thing that sucks here is I'm going to have to run into probably... A oh, no. Oh, no. You wouldn't bomb the corner here, would you? Please? Okay. Well. Okay. That's fine. We'll just continue going this way. And hopefully not get exploded. I don't know if there's... Okay, we're getting pretty close. I don't know if there's loot or whatever. Okay. Let's try to avoid that guy, if at all possible. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, what do we do here? Yeah, we got the scimitar. We'll just, we'll just kill him. Or we'll just walk past him. Yeah, you know, that's fine. Either way. Okay. Uh, no. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's just get out of here. Let's just get out of here. Oh no. Is that going to kill him? I think that actually may have killed that guy. I can hear more things happening. Okay, um, we'll take a quick look, because it's pretty open here. Wow, that's a tank. That tank is huge. These tanks are huge. There's a lot of tanks. Alright, um, is it really worth it to stay here? I mean, I'm thinking no. Unless, maybe there was, no, it doesn't look like there's anything here. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, we picked up an SMG, a pistol. Is this? Yes, perfect. Holy cow, that was a fast level. It was a very dangerous level, but it was very fast. Uh, so I guess we're going to keep going. Now, the question is... So this is our standard... You know, this is our standard loadout. We have... We've got a pipe bomb. We. Oh, hey, I have an insurance policy. Where the heck did I get that? I'm confused. Where did that come from? I mean, I'll take it, but... Tank mine and land mine? Pistol. I'm confused. I'm really confused. Where's the SMG? 18. 18 bullets. Uh, what are we going to do here? I think an insurance policy is good. We definitely want to keep that. I don't know why we have one, though. Um, night vision. Man, this kind of sucks. We, we also didn't pick up a suitcase. I don't know if there is one on that level because it's so small, but... I kind of want to use the SMG just to use it. Maybe I will get rid of the pipe bomb, and then we won't need the zippy lighter. And that frees up two spots. And we could just use the explosive brew. Because we actually haven't been using a lot of explosives, so... Um, I do want to take the SMG. It may not be a great idea, but I do want to take it. 
And we have a hammer and a scimitar, so that's good. The scimitar probably doesn't have a ton of durability left, though. So the next question is, we've got food. Do we take a shovel, another backup melee weapon, or try out the night vision? Um, maybe we'll pick up some batteries? I don't, I don't know. I think two melee weapons should be fine, so we'll go with the, with the night vision. What the heck? Let's splurge a little bit. Okay. Where to next? Destination Church. Okay. Maybe we do. Wow, I have a lot of bullets now. Probably because I picked up all these weapons. Uh, okay, yeah, this is a much larger level. Interesting. Well, we're not going to go crazy here with, with the, uh, the automated weaponry. Oh, no. Please. I hate wasting the scimitar charge on that, but it's all right. Okay. Let's sell ammo. Not exactly what we want. Those look like batteries. It's too bad you can't use them in lieu of, like, actual batteries, but whatever. It's fine. All right, so off to the church. This might be the the new content. It's kind of weird. I mean, kind of cool, I guess, but I'll take it. So we'll actually, we will be able to check out some of the new content in this playthrough. All right. Well, this is a significantly less hazardous to my health level, so I, I can already appreciate that. Uh, you know what would be nice? Something we haven't seen in a while is a, a sign that gives us a little bit of a map uncover. A map reveal would be kind of handy right about now. Oh, there's some zombies. All right. Well, zombies I can handle. Yeah, swarmlets. I'm less enthusiastic about. What does this say? Town center ring road. That doesn't really help me. Careful, careful, careful. Well, I can see this Arthur is just as enthusiastic about vaulting over stuff as the other Arthur was. So, that's good. It's good to know. Like I said, Arthur and Spirit, alright? Okay. Anything of note here? There's a guy over there. There's some stuff over there that looks interesting. Now remember we have an insurance policy, so we'll definitely want to make use of that. Fat wallets. Look at all the money. We are making a lot of money. We are making a lot of money. And there's a place to buy and purchase items. Potentially useful items. Sausage roll. That's always good. All right, I don't think there's anything actually we need in here, honestly. Apparently we can only have one insurance policy at a time, so that makes sense. Unless we wanted to go with an ultra brew. We don't have any petrol though, so if we do, maybe we'll come come back and get this, but typically when I say things like that, it, it never pans out. So I doubt we'll be back, but you know, the option's there. The option exists. All right, small purse. These are all good things. All right, you know what? All right. I guess it doesn't really matter. It just seems like a waste to be using a scimitar on these guys. Maybe I should have brought the shovel. All right, where am I? Okay, this is fine. Where do we need to be? We need to be up there. So I'm thinking... I don't want to go that way. I'm thinking this is going to be a dead end. Well, let's just take a quick peek. Spaceport? Wait, what? <laughs> There's a spaceport here in Basingstoke? Are you for real? Man, I gotta go... I think I gotta go vacation in Basingstoke. There's a lot of cool stuff there. Ooh, this looks dangerous. Well, it doesn't just look dangerous. It is very dangerous. Uh, let's go to the spaceport. Why not? Maybe we can uh, invade the alien's planet for a change. Instead of constantly being invaded ourselves. You know? See how they like it. Alright, this is a dead end. There's a hunter there. That's fine. We, uh, we're we alright. We can safely bypass him. Okay. 
What else? What else? Careful. Don't want to make too much noise. Vaulting apparently makes noise. It doesn't really seem like it makes a lot of noise. Uh, there's a lot of swarmlets up there. All right, where are we? Uh, we're heading in the right direction. Uh, yes. All right, well, they uh, I guess they saw me. Or they picked up my scent. The scent of Arthur. It inflamed their taste buds or something like that. I don't know. All right, well, there's uh, an army guy there, so there's probably going to be something really good. Uh, we should probably kill this guy if he comes back. Or this is probably a bad idea, but... <laughs> Never mind. That was a brilliant idea. Okay, SMG is very good. I like it. I approve. I uh, This is my official stamp of approval for the SMG. Oh, look at the stuff. Look at the more ammo. And another tank mine. What am I going to do with a tank mine? I mean, that seems kind of overkill. I hear a tentacle. Oh, look at it trying to lure me on top of it to try to get the loot. I, you know, I've seen that trick before and I won't fall for it again. This looks, seems like the wrong way, so let's maybe go back this way. Oh, there's so much stuff out there. Let's not get close to that. Oh boy, that makes me nervous. Alright, so we can pick up the hairspray. That's good. Fire is good. Oh, hey, this is exactly what I was looking for. Yes, please. Alright, what do we got? Okay, so this is a dead end, this is a dead end. Good. We don't want to go that way. We want to go this way. That's what I thought. But nice to have it reaffirmed by the game. Okay, let's see what this guy has on him. A shotgun, an actual shotgun. Not like a crappy shotgun. So this is probably going to be really good. Although I don't have a lot of ammo for it. But holy cow, we're like a one-man army now. Need more shotgun ammo. If we pick up some scrap, I, uh, I definitely want to maybe make some shotgun bullets. Or shotgun ammo, rather. What is that? Alright, so there's another fella here with some loot. Flare. Flares are useful. Uh, Alright, well, let's go this way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. More army supplies. Let's try not to uh, attract too much attention to ourselves, though. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I wanted you to pick up the bullet ammo. Yes! I'm going to just go ham with the SMG. It's going to be amazing. All right. We can get to this guy from around here, so let's do that. Another landmine. <laughs> There are a lot of different types of mines. Eh, another pistol. Careful, careful. Don't panic. Don't panic. Slowly. Slowly. Oh man, that is way too much stuff. Okay, let's get away from there. That's something I do not want to be a part of. That is not for me. Alright, let's go this way. Mm-hmm. 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 Less hunters here, so already, already a good place to be. All right, we've got some some loot to acquire. Sausage roll. Those are always handy. Nails. Those are good for uh, ultra brew. Is that what it's called? Explosive brew. Uh, so we'll be able to make a couple more explosive brews. If we get the uh, materials for it. Oh, hi. Hello there, fella. How are you doing? Well, there's a hunter over there, so... All right, you know what we can do, which I haven't done in a while? Is use the uh, the crossbow. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think we can safely get around this guy. Wait a minute. 
Yeah, let's make sure that's reloaded. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything over there. Drinks, food, eh, don't really care about that. Is this guy... He saw something over there that he was interested in, but uh, I seem to have lost him, so that's good. Alright, so let's be careful here. Uh, it might actually not be a bad time. Maybe the next area we get to that's relatively safe, we can use that uh, insurance policy. Green light. Mm, no, 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 no. Oh. Nope. Holy cow. <laughs> that was a sneaky one. I, uh, I almost didn't see that. It was almost a tragedy. And to think I was so close to using the insurance policy. Maybe I should just do it. It feels dangerous here. Wow. You are a persistent little fella. You know that? Alright, so there's another one. Uh, we're just gonna have to kill these guys. Aren't we? No. Looks like they found something interesting over there. Maybe? <laughs> Please, pop up and kill them. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, well. Alright, zombies. See, this is a very dangerous area. Let's get rid of that guy. Um, yeah, these guys are pretty easy to lose. As long as you're not, you know, too crazy about it. As long as you don't panic. Keep calm, as they say. Alright, let's get out of... Wait, there's another one? Yeah, right there. Man, there's tentacles everywhere. Oh, hey, another, uh, another signpost. I quite like that. Uh, looks like we're going this way, and not this way, so that's good. There aren't really any areas... There's not a lot of places for purchasing things. I wouldn't mind, like, you know, uh... Army surplus would be nice, but... Also... Uh, like a DIY... Oh, boy! Oh, boy! <laughs> Synchronized tentacle explosion, I guess. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Let's just not go that way. Uh, but what are the, uh, the the hardware stores? Or maybe an Omnimart, you know, that has, like, pretty much everything. Where is a good Omnimart when you need one? Okay, so this guy is patrolling that way. Instant coffee. There is a very dangerous tentacle over here. I can't really go that way or that way, so let's go around this way. I think we're going to have to uh, maybe stealthily take out a couple of these guys. Maybe. Or we could use a sausage roll. We've got lots, and we haven't really used them for anything. Alright, yeah, we need to get around this area. So let's... Make use, of, uh, make use of these sausage rolls. Maybe over there. A lot of stuff was attracted to that, so... <laughs> Alright, some more loot. Let's go back to oh, pepper spray. It's not terribly useful, but it's the thing, I guess, that I can have. Small purse, adding up. Man, we're almost up to triple digits here. This is pretty pretty fantastic. I see some loot over there, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get it because of that fire. I do not have a fire extinguisher. Alright, what's over here? Private, keep out. Okay. Don't have to tell me twice. Although I'm probably going to end up going in there anyways because this looks like where we need to be. Yeah, like right in here. Okay, we're pretty close, and this is a relatively safe area, right? Well, kind of. Maybe up here. Let's go back this way. I think this is where we're going to use the uh, the insurance policy. Yes. Alright, perfect. Okay. Let's 
see about getting into this church. The end is nigh. Free tea and biscuits? Yes! Sign me up. I love tea and biscuits. I'm ready. Oh, man. But there's so much stuff here. <laughs> All right. It's time to uh, to crack out. You know, I could use a flashbang here, but I don't think I'm going to need it. I think the South Patrols will do the trick. They just don't know which way to go. Let's go inside. Switch back to the scimitar, and we're in the church. Excellent. Maybe I should have used the entrance policy in here. I don't know. It's fine. Everything's fine. Just don't worry about it. Uh, these guys are going to be a problem. All right. What do we have? Oh, we can go around this side here. It's like they're trying to get in through the doors down there. All right. Can we... No, we can't. You can't vault? Seriously? This seems like perfect vaulting material. Oh no! He killed me! I've never been killed by a swarmlet before. Wait, what's that? What the heck is that? Oh, brother. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's see if what this does for us. I think we, we should be pretty close, right? Right, game? Level too hard. Replay previous levels to add to your stash. Interesting. I didn't know you could do that. Destination, church. Yep, I know. We're pretty close. Alright, so, yeah, we're pretty close. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we don't have any of the map uncovered, but, you know, such is life. Cool. Alright, well, uh, we're in good shape. We're pretty close, and I think next time we'll... I, I'm not sure what that purple thing is. There was definitely purple eyeballs walking around, and it was kind of, like, almost invisible. Um, so that's scary. Terrifying, even. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and join me next time.